Hello everyone, I'm Kogi from Kogi.in and you're watching this review of ASUS Zenfone 2 Deluxe. Now this handset is powered by Intel Atom quad-core processor and it's running Android Lollipop with 4GB RAM and 64GB of internal storage space. The handset also comes with a 13 megapixel autofocus camera on the rear. Here is the box pack. This handset is priced at Rs 22,999. The specifications are clearly mentioned on the box and inside you'll find the Zenfone 2 Deluxe, user guide, warranty card, data cable and travel charger. This is fast charger, 9 volt, 2 amp. The Zenfone 2 Deluxe sports a 5.5 inch screen with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection and supporting Full HD resolution. Like the other Zenfone 2 smartphones, this one is also bulkier in the center and gets slimmer towards the edges, as you can see here. Build quality and the finishing is very good. The front is flat and almost black. The key attraction on the Zenfone 2 Deluxe is the back panel that comes with diamond shaped textures. These textures not only give you an elegant look from different angles, but you can also feel it. Power button, audio jack and the secondary mic is placed on the top. Micro USB port and the primary mic is placed at the bottom and on the rear side you'll find this volume rocker. There is a 13 megapixel autofocus camera with dual tone LED flash on the rear side. This handset comes with built-in battery of uh, 3000 mAh capacity. There are dual SIM slots, SIM slot 1, SIM slot 2 and a micro SD card slot that supports up to 64 GB external cards. SIM slot 1 supports 3G, 4G and 2G and SIM 2 supports 2G only. SIM 1, SIM 2 are micro SIM. I have inserted this SIM, micro SIM in SIM slot 1 and a micro SD card. Handset weight with battery is 178 grams and it is about 11.29 mm thick. 4G works, I'm using Airtel 2300 band. This handset is running Zen UI based on Android Lollipop. Touch is very smooth and responsive. Color reproduction is also pretty good. The dedicated navigation buttons do not light up. Viewing angles are also very good. You can clearly see the fonts and the icons from almost all angles. There is built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC and GPS. This is how you can enter the settings option. Tap the more button to get access to the NFC option. There is 64 GB of internal storage space. You'll get around 54 GB free space. Apps are getting installed on the internal storage, but there is an option to move them to external SD card if required. Of the 4 GB RAM, you'll get around 2.4 GB free on the first boot. In settings Zen motion, you'll find the touch gesture and motion gesture options. You can also use the screen color mode to set up the color temperature. This handset also comes with built-in power saving mode with ultra saving mode. Hindi language along with other Indian regional languages are supported. There is LED notification and this is how it looks. OTG works, I have connected an external OTG pen drive and I'm able to access the contents of that pen drive. Let's move on to the camera. This handset is using the Pixel Master autofocus camera. It's of 13 megapixel resolution. I've set the image quality to fine. Rear camera can shoot Full HD videos. And here are the different options available. You can use the low light option in low light condition that will give you better output. Camera quality is above average. Here is the night shot. You can check the sample images and videos on my website. Front camera is of 5 megapixel resolution and here are the different options for the front camera. By default, the handset is set to the balance mode and I'm going to keep it the same. Let's check out the system information. This handset is powered by Intel Atom CPU Z3580 2.3 GHz. It's quad core, 64 bit with PowerVR G6430 GPU. It's running Android Lollipop 5.0. Zero. And here are the sensors, accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetic, gyro and hall sensor. Before running the benchmark application, let's check out the battery temperature. It's at 35 degrees. When I was running the benchmark apps, I got this message to switch to performance mode. I have switched to performance mode. Quadrant benchmark score is 12230. Antutu score for the first time 32 bit was 47825 
The battery temperature is 37 degrees, well under control. Second time the score was 45962. Handset is a bit warm on the rear side and the battery temperature is 38 degrees, well under control. Nina Mark II is 59.7 FPS and this handset supports 10 point multi-touch. After 13 minutes the battery dropped by 4% and the temperature is 37 degrees. Let's play the Asphalt 8. I got this game installed on the internal storage. By default it is set to the high visual quality mode. The game is very smooth, playable and there are hardly any lags. I played this game for about 19 minutes, the battery dropped by 9% and the temperature is 40 degrees. The Zenfone 2 Deluxe is a premium handset that comes loaded with a good 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage space. The handset looks and feels unique thanks to the diamond style textures on the back panel. This handset is using Intel Atom processor that's quite powerful. It can play 4K videos with ease. The 13 megapixel autofocus camera on the rear using Pixel Master technology gives above average camera quality. Focusing is a bit slow on the Zenfone 2 Deluxe when compared with the Zenfone 2 Laser. The 3000 mAh battery also does a pretty good job. You can expect about 5 to 7 hours of continuous moderate to heavy usage on a single charge. And with fast charging capabilities, you can charge this handset in just about 1 hour 46 minutes. Zenfone 2 Deluxe is also a very good buy if you can afford it. It's priced at Rs 22,999.